So hi everyone, this video is for those students who are preparing for the JEE mains examinations or any other competitive examinations. I will be sharing in this video my entire experience of two years, no, two and half years of intense hard work for getting into NITs or IITs, and finally staying up as a failure by not getting into IITs or NITs. So why did I fail? What are the tips I didn't follow? What is the motivation? How to get motivation to read? All those questions will be answered in this video in a short video. So and make sure that you have liked this video and subscribe to this channel. So let's begin with this video. When I joined the hostel for the first time in 11th standard, everyone near around me who came from techno schools were preparing for, for studying, were doing problems very well, were getting so good marks and they were able to solve each and every question. And I am, I don't know nothing competitive related and I was like in hostel for the first time, I was crying with talking when I'm talking with my mom and I was not able to get the marks and the exam was around 360 for the JE mains and in 360 marks I was getting around just 80 marks, 70 marks, 60 marks and in JE advanced examination I was getting like 30 marks, 40 marks out of 250, 150 of the 200 marks it was so poor right so when i was getting so poor marks everyone in my relatives everyone started saying what you will do in your life you are getting so poor marks how you will tackle how you will get into nits those were so many questions to me they were asking so on the board exams came first year board exams they said the college said if you get 10 points or 10 cgpa they will give a cash price of 10000 that was my point where i have to prove myself that i could do something yeah then i got 10 cgpa later on again the second year preparation started revision started then i gave the je mains first attempt in first attempt i didn't got good marks it was in january 2020 i guess yes so i didn't got good marks i just got a percentile of 88 and and then one of my sir said you can't do anything with this percentile then i was like broke down again board exams of second year came i wrote them well and then again started preparation but the lockdown came so i didn't even went to my home i stayed in my relatives home in Andhra Pradesh and I gave J main second attempt. I thought I would be able to make 98 percentile this time anyhow. And when the results came of the second attempt of the J mains, it was again heartbreaking for me. I thought I would be able to make 98 percentile. I was just I just got 94 percentile. I was at a point like I didn't even got a good percentile i didn't even got a bad percentile so i got around 120 or something marks the exam was for 300 marks. so i got 94 percentile i was so depressed i also gave other competitive examinations i didn't even make into j means then i wrote advanced advanced also i didn't able to make i didn't even qualify the advanced examination i gave bitsat examination i didn't even qualify the, that uh, examination with the good marks i gave lpo examination lpo examination was a decent examination i got a decent marks but but I was not interested into going that far and studying in a crowd of students. I was not having any options for my future studies. At that point, I realized, did you study it hard? Did you really worked hard for your IITs or NITs? Or you just passed your time? It was really, it was hitting me. The relatives, everyone were sighing me, asking me. So then I gave MSET examination. MSET examination is examination for Andhra Pradesh Board of Students. So. I gave that examination, I got into a college, you can see my YouTube name also, VITB, VITB is not a Vellore, it's Vishnu Institute of Technology, B for Bimovaram, it's in Bimovaram, you can search the college in the Google, so I get into this college, I've worked hard, I made YouTube videos, I improved myself, I improved my communication, I worked really hard. And now you can see I'm in front of you, a pursuing second year of BTEC of Vishnu Institute of Technology and working hard for my goals like uh, making YouTube videos, doing programming or coding, whatever. So what message do I want to convey through this video? Bro, it's hard. Getting into NITs and IITs is hard. Preparation for NITs and IITs for JE mains is hard. But if it's hard for you, 
then it's hard for each and every one this is the only one thing which i believe the second thing is consistency if you do everything consistently without failing means daily two problems daily two chapters daily these questions weekly tests mock tests these things even from now it's not too late but never think like others are preparing well they are doing good i am not able to do well they are toppers i am not a topper i am not able to make it if you have believe in yourself believe in yourself that you can do it then you will do it obviously no need of external forces to force you to study 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 you will study on your own so keep that in mind the most important uh, things in your life is now in this stage time so manage your time perfectly see some time tables see some strategies follow those strategies prepare mock tests write exams prepare well the next thing is mind pressure that one that stress or what we can say the stress or anything keep that very low don't think about others just think i got this problem in the exam how will i solve so maintain a well routine believe in yourself you will rock the exam all the best for your examinations any videos needed just comment in the comment section make sure that you have like this video share this video with your friends in your groups or whatever be the examination in your groups share this video subscribe to this channel support me to reach 10000 subscribers